I'm making this video to point out a design flaw in the Microsoft Xbox One controller. Doesn't matter if it's a regular controller, if it's the redesign with the 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack, or if it's one of the Elite controllers. The design of the boards is essentially the same on all of them. Uh, where the fault lies is the fact that it's a two board system. You've got your board at the bottom which controls all your buttons and the direction pad and then you have this second board here that has your analog sticks attached to it. So those come up right through it. To see that how the boards are separated, this is the bottom board and this is the one that's above it, the top board. They're connected by two connectors, one in the middle, just underneath here, and another one just underneath here. When you see them, the board that would fit in just right along here, your connector would be here, and your connector would be here. The problem with the way that Microsoft designed this is, though they have this board here anchored in with six screws, this second board only has one screw there, and one screw there, which you can see right here, and then right there. There's nothing else mounting those two boards together, nothing that holds them together. There's a plastic connector, these bridge boards, these connecting uh, ports here, but the problem is, is that those don't actually hold anything. Those don't hold anything together with any tension. Those just basically pop in together. It's a, it's a small not even I wouldn't even call it a clip because although they do fit together there's nothing that really holds them together with any type of a force all right now with a problem that comes in is the back side of this board okay and I'll lift this up so you can see is you can see here's where your button pads press against the board all of these are on one plane except the B button the B button is raised and it actually, instead of right here, where you have your A, B, or I'm sorry, A, X, and Y buttons, the B button is a separate board, and it actually hits right here. Now, the problem that Microsoft set themselves up for is because these boards do not press together and hold against one another, when you press down on the B button, you're essentially pushing one board away from the other. Now, this one is going to show it with a little more dramatic results since the controller is apart and normally there's a screw that holds the back to the, the front plate, the, the face plate here. But what you can see is, is if you're pressing here, What you're going to do is the B button has force against it. It actually pushes it away from the bottom board. I can hold, get this just right. You can actually see how it, ra how it would raise up. You can see how that raises that force is essentially being applied when you press the B button. The only thing that guards against it is this screw here. But because there's no reinforcement anywhere along the center here, you basically create the forces applied down here and it causes one major problem to happen. And this is if you've got any Xbox One controller and your controller no longer works for some reason. It just stopped recharging. It stopped connecting. You can't turn it on. It's not a problem with syncing. It's the controller's completely dead. It's because of this. What ends up happening is because that board gets pushed apart, this connector right here ends up separating. And you'll see it's still connected. Like if you take apart any of these controllers with that symptom, the back side here will still be connected. You'll find this piece still connected to here, separated from this board. And what you're going to find out in time after time is that 
the back side of this connector is going to still have the pads attached to the solder. So you get all of the connecting pins and then all your solder joints which are on the board themselves they are ripped off because of that that pressure. For a completely unopened controller that has a like new pristine condition there's no reason that so it takes force it definitely takes force to rip off solder pads from a from a board normally you'd only do that if you were trying to solder something to a board and then pull it away while the solder was you know was already you know formed and you actually had that part attached to it or you'd have to apply force and rip something off it's not something that's an easy thing to do to just use a controller and have the the boards you know to tear off shear off from one another but it's because there's no reinforcement between these pieces and it's not just one controller it's several I've got multiples here that I've pulled apart to try to fix and every time it's the same issue there you go there's a better picture you can see how it's this particular one has pulled off two of the pads from the board itself and you can see on here those same ones those two white spots are showing the where the pads ripped away from I've got other ones that have all of them here's another one this is uh, this is one that's from the elite controllers you can see with the selector switch on the front this is a second elite controller now if I go ahead and slowly wiggle these two boards apart you can actually let's see if I can show you in here when you just pull these controllers apart and you search right in here, this camera's not going to have the light to be able to uh, get what I want you to see, but you'll be able to see that this one here is connected and almost every time you're going to find this part here will still be connected but it'll be slightly lifted just a little bit and separated from that board, but it's enough that it shears the soldering pads straight off the board. I'm going to set this down so I don't do any more damage to the controller here. Oh, actually never mind. Let me remove these screws first. Remember, the only thing that's holding these two things together are those two little screws. And once you see they come apart, The exact same issue is present in this board, except in this case you can see it's sheared off every single pad except for one. All of those white spots right there are where pads were at and are now on here, attached. There's still all of them. You can see the little copper pads that copper color on the top of the connector those are all the pads that it tore off except that far one the one right down there that lines up on that one down there that still has the silver color where the which is the solder now this will continue to happen to controllers until Microsoft decides to make a revision or a design change They've redesigned the controllers on the last one, which they simply just added the 3.5 millimeter jack down here. And they did the redesign on the top to make this one entire piece instead of three separate pieces so that in the center 
you can press and it's still going to hit the uh, connector on the opposite side. Your B button, your, uh, I'm sorry, bumpers, left and right bumpers are here. This button and this one here. So it just was redesigned to make those easier to press in the center versus having to always press on the outside to get them to, to click correctly. But this design is going to be persistent and you're going to continue to have controllers fail across their entire line of controllers. Uh, usually they say that they you know put their products through consistent testing but apparently they don't with enough true gamers because I've seen this multiple times and every time I see a controller that has no power it's the same issue. The controllers have never been opened. Never once. The controllers are in pristine condition where they haven't they're not full of crap they haven't been thrown around they haven't been abused especially people aren't going to do that with their elite controllers with as expensive as they are but that flaw putting that B button on a second board and then when you press it you're basically constantly pushing those two boards apart until you finally have that connector that's right beneath the B button shear off and it's just enough that it tears them off which incapacitates the controller because it cuts off all electrical conductivity. When you tear off a board, it's expensive to try to do that. Normally you have to let run uh, wires that pass it, but uh, those lead wires aren't going to do any good on a controller like this. Your board's basically shot unless you can get a replacement board, this top board. If you can get a, t a replacement board that's you could swap them out and your controller would continue to work fine the problem is Microsoft will not sell those boards either so those boards are just basically going to make you have to buy a new controller uh, it's a great little setup that they make a product that's gonna purposely fail so that you continue to have to replace it all that would take is they would have to redesign this with something that holds those together or what they should have done in the first place is like most controllers Put all of the button controls on one board so that you and have that one reinforced in multiple places. There's you can see on this one there's one, two, three, there's a fourth one under here, there's a fifth one that's back here underneath, and a sixth one back here underneath. That's anchored to the to the actual front plate of the controller in six spots. There's one, two, three, uh, four, there's five over here and six over here. You can see the little screws that that pop up, those little silver marks. Those are where they anchor that front board to it. That keeps that board from separating, but when you're putting two boards and it relies on that connector between the two, you're going to run into issues when you pr have a button that's on the separate one, and when, every time you push it, you're pushing the edge of this board away from this one and causes those pads to shear off. Uh, I just want Microsoft to take responsibility for it and do one of a couple of things. On these controllers here where people have, have this type of issue, they need to sell replacement boards or replace the boards for them, and they need to redesign future controllers so that they don't do two separate boards like this, especially if they're only going to reinforce them with a screw here and a screw here. Oh, and they can be held up with the little ones that go here in here but those really do nothing to help the B button down here because this doesn't pull much of the force away the force is still just coming out here so you've got this long board long narrow board and you just reinforce or you just anchor it with two spots that's the one that your joysticks are on your analog sticks it's a poor design and if you've got a controller and you don't know why it just stopped working pulled apart Take a look at it. Do it carefully. There's lots of disassembly videos that you can see when people are trying to take apart. And just have a little peek underneath here. More than likely, you're going to find that the same thing has happened. And the only way that Microsoft is going to change it is if the gaming community uh, makes enough of a fuss about it that they decide to actually change it. People stop buying them then they'll actually make a change but until then until people speak up and demand that there's a pro show that there's a problem demand that they fix it or change it nothing's going to happen 
So I ask people to spread the news, spread this video, uh, contact Microsoft, do whatever you can, uh, force the issue upon them. Don't let them hide from it because that's what they do when I've called them about it. They kind of hide and they say, oh, well, um, you know, tech support doesn't do anything. They say they have no power. They won't give you any information in terms of who you can talk to as far as the engineers. Uh, they basically tell you, go to, uh, you know, use your voice.xbox.com and, you know, use the sounding boards there. Use the different, uh, you know, community boards and uh, put your ideas there. And I have, uh, but just recently. So hopefully if this word gets out and is spread enough that Microsoft will fix this because your controllers might be the next one to die. All right, thanks.